Yeah. Huh. God is real and he using me for a bigger purpose. So fuck the world that will have you think that a nigga worthless. Sometimes I think that these verses can help a person way more than the ones they reading in churches on days of worship. No disrespect to the Lord and Savior, that ain't just ego. I just observed that the words no longer relate to people. Cause modern times be flooded with dollar signs and social media stunt. And my niggas just wanna shine. They frame a mind so far removed from the days and times of Nazareth. Like these days is a labyrinth and the maze so elaborate. We barely get through half of it for it's too late. My niggas is felons from selling weight in more than two states. Two two in his waist before he could even shoot straight. Quick to draw on you like Aaron McGrew, the nigga who fake. All of that baby, to say maybe baby, the hood baby, need a new face, baby. a new story about a boy from not too far where you stay. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. His mama was the virgin named Yolanda, and she raised him on her own. After she was disowned, her mama called her a liar, said, get the fuck out my home, since you want to be grown. So there she was now, 17 and alone. But this little boy that grew in her stomach made her feel strong. The angels paid her a visit one night and let it be known. This was God's child, woman behold a miracle. She shed tears cause she never believed in the spiritual, but her heart was pure and she was good. For 18 years, she raised him on section eight in the cold embrace of the hood, did the best that she could. The boy was named Javari, walked with the spirit of his father emanating from body. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. here we go. Back in the hood, look at Lil Vari preach. His words were full of spirit, his truth that would always reach. He laid his hands on Toya when niggas called her a freak and told her that God loved her no matter who she let be. But being promiscuous is a sign that there's something deep that troubles her soul. The day she lets it go, she'll find peace. She broke down admitting her stepfather had touched her for years. She kept the secret for fear of her mother's grief. Now the bitterness she feels for that nigga is at a peak. And a lack of self-esteem is the reason that she would sleep with any Body and I think twice. Javari spoke calmly, instructing her to forgive her stepfather. Though he was wrong, he was sick, afflicted baby, by baby, evil. But baby, the power to switch baby. how you feel about people who hurt you is truly a gift. The thing that can make you rich or keep you down in the ditch. If you refuse to let go of the ground, and how can you lift into the sky where you belong with the most high? Now wipe those tears from your eyes. My father wants you to fly. Mm. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Oh. Baby, 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 something I've been feeling in the depths of my heart. Back in the hood, Javari built up a following. Niggas put down their pistols eventually and stopped swallowing molly pills. Instead, now they bodies filled with spirit. Twelve little homies soaking up every word that they hearing. The neighborhood done changed in attitude and appearance. Police dumbfounded by lack of crime and they swear it's a fluke. Not knowing the truth that this a miracle. Niggas is waking up, but the powers that be, they fear it. So government keeping tabs on Javari and those who practice adherence to things he teaching. And then comes the interference. They storm on the hood, guns out, bust into the house that he slept in a warrant, claiming suspicion of drug possession. But Vari sat calmly as if he had been expecting, heart full of love, even for those who need to oppress him. They told him hands up, and he did just as they directed. They fired on him, claiming they thought he reached for a weapon. He laid on the floor breathless, blood leaking from his chest, plus a bullet hole through both of his palms. Ain't that a message? The neighborhood was stressing. The son of God murdered and carried away on stretcher by the oppressor, but Three days later, the coroner pulled a table. And what happened next is like something you see on cable or hear in a fable. He was suddenly able to open his eyes. Look at him rise. The coroner was surprised. Huh? Without a word, Javari walked out, went straight to the hood. The people couldn't believe it. They froze right where they stood as he walked by, shining like a million diamond chains. God flowing from every inch of his frame. He said, hear me out, my niggas. Let me be your proof. My father is real. And through love, homie, peace can be found in the village. I died for you so that one day you would be able to see.
Just you a child of God, just like me. Hear me out, my niggas, let me be your proof. My father is real. And through love, homie, peace can be found in the veil. I die for you so that one day you would be able to see. You a child of God, just like me. And I want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want Baby. you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Want you to fly, want you to fly, mm -hmm. want you to fly, want you to fly, here we go. Go. Oh. Oh. Can I hear that?